This is Illinois Extension's Voice of the Wild. A new wild voice in just a moment. So find someplace quiet, take a deep breath, and enjoy. This blackbird is a Midwest resident, so some are here year-round, but the vast majority migrate south for winter. That vacation, however, is short. They'll return to fill wetlands and overgrown ponds as early as February. The male's deep black plumage with red and yellow shoulder patches is a familiar icon of spring and summer. But if you're a beginner birder, don't forget to learn the female's plumage. It is brown and strongly streaked. It's almost a rite of passage for new birders to be fooled by that plumage into thinking they found a mysterious sparrow with an unusually long and pointed beak. This is the red-winged blackbird, Agellius phoenicius, from the blackbird family Icteridae. The red-winged blackbird is well known for its fluid and complex song. But it also has a variety of other vocalizations. For anyone who's gone on a hike through a wet prairie or simply walked by the edge of a reedy pond, you'll be familiar with the alarm calls they give when something has ventured too close to their nest. Besides that full-throated alarm, it also gives a simple chack. A high-pitched petite and other calls. When the big flocks have returned in the spring, I recommend going to a wetland with a dense stand of cattails around sunset. If it's like most wetlands, you'll be treated to a cacophony of their variable and delightful calls as the light dims and the red wings return to roost. Here's the red winged blackbird again. Thank you to the Macaulay Library at the Cornell Lab for our bird sounds. And thank you for tuning in to learn a new wild voice with Illinois Extension.